So this was sent to me from Quebec, Canada. And again, it's just more follow-up to the lanyard question. And um, so it was cut off of their um, harness. And being that it was very short, there was not enough room for me to tie a knot anywhere. So we're going to have to give this a try. But what I did, if you can see this, is I put a stitch running down both sides between this and the beeline. And then to capture the core of everything, I did some stitches um, for those as well. Did that on both sides. So I don't know how that's gonna hold but we'll give it a we'll give it a shot but you can see right here that the cover is badly damaged in fact the core is bulging out so it'd be interesting to see how much strength would come out of this of course remember I'm giving this a straight line pull normally in your harness it's a doubled configuration doubled over your ring um, when it's doubled like that, you've actually doubled the strength. You haven't you haven't done anything to the vulnerability. Obviously, if you cut that, you're still going to have a problem because it's a single line. But when you put something on your harness like that, you've doubled the strength of that. You're hanging on a single line, but you've doubled the strength on that. And so there's uh, a lot of guys that are doubling their bridges. So when you think about that, you've doubled the doubled strength you put four times the strength that still all goes to a single rope well as i suspected that was 1900 pounds um still if it's 1,900 pounds in a end-to-end -end pull, if that was on your harness, it would be doing a heck of a lot more than that. And yet, so it broke the cover and did start to break the line right there, but as soon as it started to break the line right there, you can see where the uh, core kind of got pulled. Well, the core, is, the core is still down in here. So the, the core broke down in this area. Um, as you can see, the core is still down at this end. So the cover and the core did all break. And uh, so even with a badly damaged bridge. All right, the next victim he sent me is an old lanyard. And it looks like about 13 millimeter. I mean, it's large, but very old and rather beat. Uh, just for fun, I've tied um, an alpine butterfly at each end, and I'm gonna tie it directly to the pins. All right, so there's the alpine butterfly. We're putting it on the stationary end. Parallel lines, crossed, properly tied, dressed, and set. And we'll pay attention to this end. Okay, so I changed my mind and tied a uh, bowline down at this end. Butterfly broke at about 2,800 pounds, and the uh, bowline just cinched up, but no breakage on the bowline. So the bowline won, and for a large rope, not a lot of strength, is it? 2,800 pounds. All right, this next one I'm going to test 
is a, a carabiner and it appears that the gate has been uh, damaged to the point that you can't you can't open it and this is an observation on a carabiner because we know the carabiners are rated for a pull um, down the spine I mean the major axis but most of the carabiners most carabiners you'll also see and not only a strength this way which is 23 kilonewtons but you'll see a strength for pulling it this way and and if your carabiner becomes misoriented you have no idea how much strength that has so to me if a carabiner is not rated um, at least along with the the minor axis as well as the major axis then I, I don't want to I don't want to have it because it is possible that my carabiner become side loaded okay so I girth hitched around the gate to try to keep this oriented I don't know if it'll stay oriented blew up the gate since we still have it it's not a fair test at all but the other the other um, number that's usually listed is with the gate open so since the gate is obviously open let's just pull on this and see what it does Four hundred and ten pounds for basically a hook. <laughs>